It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And we've got a showdown in the NFC North. It's the Packers and the Lions. And it's coming up next on EA Sports. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. CD, everybody loves to see the deep ball. We know that. We got a couple of quarterbacks here who can really sling it. Aaron Rodgers and Matthew Stafford. I like your point there, partner, because it is back in vogue. And what I mean is taking the shots downfield because for a long time in this league, it was all about precision passing, the West Coast offense. But now we've got a couple of guys here who will take some shots downfield and they have some receivers who can go get it. Touchback. We see Matthew Stafford, the one time Georgia Bulldog, set to pilot the offense of the Detroit Lions. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. First down throw, Stafford. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. So many times we've seen him trying to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, here's Stafford. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Buying time to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. First down at Stafford. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Stafford. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A big play that time through the air. 34 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Out of the gun, Stafford. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and ended up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. A hole to dig out of here, second and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Stafford throwing the out route incomplete. It's Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. The seventh play now in this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Now Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. This a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick here is good. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. They have the bottom line. They wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. end zone and only able to get this to the 19 go, so go, probably go. should have opted for the go. touchback veteran Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers ready to go for drive number one along with the rest of this Packer offense I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And into the end zone, a scoop and score. Even the great ones, some of the best, they're not immune to the fumble, and here it really hurts them. If the ball gets away from any runner's body, that's when the defense pokes at it, swipes at it, swats at it, and finds a way to create a big play for themselves. coming 
It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 10. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out, looking for a bounce back, had the fumble a moment ago that went for a touchdown the other direction. Let's see if he can get back in rhythm. And you have to be very careful about having too quick of a hook with really good players. I did a guy's game in high school where he fumbled three times in the first quarter, finished with over 300 yards on the night, later ended up in the NFL. If you've got a talented back, give it back to him. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. Second and two. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. you got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sets his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Rodgers going to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Oh, heavy lion pressure here, and they block it. It's picked up. Remember, the ball is live. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. A great play there. Take it in. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. As you well know, every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. the kicking team here for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17 well, Not only did they block it, the awareness to go and grab it and then take it into the end zone for six points. Nothing our scores. They kick this one away. On the return, it's Adderley from his end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Now 
trotting out there. The Packers getting ready to go. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And just a yard to go here on second down. The give is to Jones. And they'll get him down here at the 23. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of people are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Rodgers now on first down. It's caught here by Adams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, these guys certainly need something good to go their way because this first quarter has been something of a disaster for them trying to move the ball. But that completion there maybe can get them focused and moving in the right direction. down carry by Jones. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. He's already put it on the ground once in this first half. There are no gain, just struggling to get going. Yeah, and what he needs right now, a dose of confidence, which means his guys have to chop a hole, a big one for him, give him a chance to run a little bit and gain some of that confidence back. He didn't get it on that carry. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. You can almost hear the side of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Here's Rodgers. Drops it to Jones in the flat. That catch good for only a couple. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On second down, it's Jones. And he's going to get this inside the 30. He's tackled the 29 yard line. A gain of 12. And the Packer first down. Corner. As they've got it with a first and ten. 
Now Rodgers. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Rodgers now to throw. Looking for the end zone. Got a man open. It's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Touchdown. Devontae Adams. 29 yards. And the Packers get a score closer. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Crosby with the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. That time, a nine-play drive, and it ends with a Packers touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he returns this to the 22. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. A handoff to start the drive to Sims. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. From the 25 on second down, Stafford completing it to the right side, Johnson. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. Stafford's throw caught by Sanders. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Stafford. And the catch made by Johnson. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And the hitch route is run really well. That jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. On first and 10, Stafford. 
Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Stafford on first down. Looking left sideline, incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again at Stafford. Throw left side complete. That's Sims. And out of bounds right around the 20. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll bring up fourth down. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. Through a couple of plays, this Green Bay defense is held strong. Now it's third and goal. They'll try to run this one in, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. 
And his kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try and loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. On first down, Rodgers. A check down here to Jones. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll make this a second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No <laughs> doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. Well, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Good coverage on the outside, and I think that's where he wanted to check that down to. But once he saw the danger over there, he just threw that one over everyone's head. Smart play. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. There's Rodgers to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Adams. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Rodgers again now. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off here to 29. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Lions touchdown. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. Hard to throw against. That was demonstrated one more time. A pick six going the other way. the lead up to an even 20. 
So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. It is fielded right at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. Number 12 back out there. Aaron and his Packer teammates set to begin their drive. And how does he rally the troops, so to speak? He, he's played well, but they're down big on the scoreboard. How does he get his guys going? To make sure they understand it's not a me game, it's a team game. Everyone has to come together. Everyone has to up the level of play a little bit, including himself, and find a way to make some plays in order to give them a little bit of a spark and rally the team. We'll see if they can indeed rally down big on the scoreboard right now. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big play there just before halftime. Even later into his career now, there aren't too many guys that can launch it downfield with accuracy better than Aaron Rodgers. And to be honest, this first half hasn't been anything they'd be really proud about. So they needed something like this to change their fortunes. Now they need to make sure they finish this one off, not just with points, but with a touchdown. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now it's Rodgers. He's going to let it go again. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives him a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw is Rodgers. Looking sideline, incomplete. Well, to me, there was no question about the intent there, and I think he was a little fortunate that the penalty flag didn't come out for grounding. But he'll get away with it and get another shot on third down. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. And again, it's Rodgers. Forced out to his left. Bears it out toward the corner of the end zone. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Down in this one, they needed that score, but they'll have to hold at least for the time being. You're exactly right. Points that they had to have, as you said, they have to regroup now and see if they can get them another way. On now is the Packers punter. On for his second punt, and remember, his first one was blocked. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Well, look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. 
So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report.